For those of us in Africa, the wildlife crime crisis is right in front of us. In our national parks and reserves, we see the carcasses of magnificent creatures that have fallen prey to the greed of criminal poaching networks. Ladies and gentlemen, government and intergovernmental agencies, NGOs, and especially communities are all powerful allies in the fight against the illegal killing and trade in wildlife. We are here at this I-4 side event during the CITES COP17. This is an event that is going to feature Ten Boma, and Ten Boma is an innovation to counter poaching. We can increase that effectiveness, increase that impact. Ten Boma basically is a intelligence-led law enforcement program which really seeks to, through partnerships and collaborative agreements, establish a pipeline of reporting and information on wildlife crime. What is interesting and unique about Ten Boma is that it connects the communities that coexist with wildlife and are really at the foreground and know the most and first of when you know criminal elements are coming into their area. It's the neighborhood initiative of networking, to know your neighbor and to know the stranger and sharing community intelligence. And getting it to uh, wildlife service entities or other enforcement agencies and then on to those regional and transnational and global law enforcement initiatives such as an Interpol. Uh, Interpol and I4 have enjoyed a relationship for two decades now. The true measure of success is an investigation. So ultimately Interpol wants to support countries flowing law enforcement information from country to country in pursuit of investigative outcomes. Uh, and then start to illuminate some of the criminal network nodes and connections uh, that really drive the crime. That is Ten Boma uh, in, a, in a nutshell. To get there before the animal is actually killed. So that is the our ultimate goal here this evening is to share our experiences and the successes we've had thus far in Kenya. Zero poaching was reported in our area. And that is the support of the communities working in partnership with other organizations. We are here to ensure that uh, the whole country and the whole region can be able to benefit from this uh, 10 bomber. It takes a network to defeat a network and everyone in this room may play a part in it. We have over 100 people from around the world who attended the event, and I'm hoping that we can enlist them and all of their expertise to help us create the network to defeat that criminal network. What we'd like to see for Ten Boma is that really it becomes the framework in every country that has iconic species that are at risk of wildlife crime. This event tonight is recognizing how we can actually celebrate and work together very effectively with impact on the ground. And it's absolutely the way that we are going to solve this issue with everyone working together. There's more of us than them and we need to just join forces and end it. If we can be able to get support to ensure that the collaborative initiative can be replicated elsewhere, well, there will be future for wildlife voluntarily by communities.